Hi, I'm Kurt Frederick with OPW. Today we're going to talk about the 68 EZR, our new reconnectable breakaway from OPW that makes it very easy to reconnect a breakaway whether it's under pressure or not. You're really going to like this. In every single box, with every single breakaway, you get insulation instructions. The front page covers the insulation instructions. The second page covers the reconnection properties and instructions for the breakaway. Okay, we're going to show you how to reconnect this, but before we do so, we want to show you some important things to do prior to reconnection. You have the upper half and the lower half. There are directional flow arrows on the breakaway that shows you the direction of the fuel flow. And then there's some important lubrication of services and seals that need to take place prior to reconnecting. Okay, what we're looking at here is the upper portion of the breakaway. We know that because it says OPW 68 EZR right here. We also see the directional flow arrow right here. So flow is coming down through the top of the breakaway and will exit out the bottom. Now what we want to focus on is the underside here where you can actually see the sealing O-ring located right in this area right here. That's what we want to lubricate. In this particular case, we're going to be using just petroleum lubricating jelly on a Q-tip and we're just going to liberally apply it on the inside of the sealing surface to make sure it's completely covered. And likewise, we're going to do the same thing on the bottom half, which is what we see right here. Here, once again, you see the directional flow arrow right here. And we're in this particular case, we're going to provide lubrication on the outside of the boss as well as the inside of the mechanism and the leading chamfer. Okay, to reconnect the breakaway, we first align the two tabs identified on the breakaway body. We're going to press firmly and then we're going to rotate the bottom in the direction of the arrow as shown. You'll press firmly, you'll rotate, you should be able to feel it and hear it as it reconnects. So we're going to press and rotate. You should have heard an audible click. You can actually see through the window here, the green dot, which indicates a successful reconnection. Okay, since at this point we're assuming there's been a drive-off incident, we want to make sure that the dispenser is safe for work. We want to make sure that the shear valve has been tripped and is in the closed position. We also want to inspect all of the hardware to make sure there's been no damage as a result of the drive-off. We'll look for damage to the nozzle itself, the nozzle spout, any breaks in the hose, any cracks in the hose, any uh, bent piping, any dents in the dispenser that could indicate further damage inside. We want to do a thorough inspection on the hose point before trying to reconnect the breakaway. Okay, one of the things we want to do before we do the reconnection of the breakaway is we just had a breakaway. We have a lot of stored energy or pressure still evident and present inside the hose point. So all we're going to do is we're simply going to take an approved container we're going to press the lever of the nozzle and we're going to discharge any trap pressure into the container at this point. Okay, here the tabs are aligned. We're going to press them firmly together and rotate. We heard the click. We have the audible, vi the visual representation that it's reconnected. Our reconnection is complete.